Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And we're back for another webinar. I was just telling Abby and, and Thomas while we're going live, like, I don't even know when they start hearing us. So if everybody's hearing me humming and singing, just put it in the chat. Um, thank you all for attending. I see a great number of people there already who are live. Feel free to put anything in the chat. Abby just said hi to everybody. Um, I am going to host a moderator today, which means, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your voice. So anything you put in the chat, I will make sure that these questions or comments or anything you have are answered by Abby and Thomas. And I will also try to put myself in your shoes and ask any questions that I think you could have as a potential content provider to, uh, to Sibley and uh, Hi, Jean-Pierre. Hi, Flora. Hi, Santiago. All, all, all people that I know, and uh, Enrique is there, and John Hay. I've got all these great people. Like, every you had, you, you drilled a good bunch of people. It's like, it's like a little yacht show here yeah, on air. It's like so, lockdown all over again. Yeah, can you up your volume a little bit, Abby, please? Mm -hmm. And so, most of you know Abby. Uh, Thomas, you might not know everybody. Would you like to introduce yourself shortly, Thomas? Sure. Uh, thanks. I'm uh, I'm Thomas. I'm one of the Sibley originals, uh, uh, and today I work as a, uh, a COO and head of global support uh, at Sibley. Uh, but I've been here from the start, and we have been working hard to build a platform for the maritime industry. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, some of the features later on. Fantastic. Abby, over to you because you're leading the conversation. You want me to put up the slides for you? Headphones. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. Good. Yeah, put up the presentation, please. Mono is my trusty assistant. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm Beauty and Abby's the brains today. There as, we go. As, as always, actually. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, welcome everyone. It's really nice to see everyone here. Um, we have some people who are seeing the Seably platform for the first time today and others who are already content providers with us. So that's a really nice mix. Um, as Ono said, please feel free to put questions in along the way and we'll answer them when we can. So essentially today is our opportunity to give you a short demo of the platform that Thomas will lead on um, and also to tell you about some of the updates um, that are happening at the moment or soon to be. So... Let me tell you a little bit about Seably first of all. So as you will have gathered that Seably is the global training platform for the super yacht industry. It's actually a marketplace for the entire maritime industry that we have had the opportunity to adapt for the niche industry that is the super yacht market. Um, Thomas, could I ask you to interject here just to say a few words about who is behind Seably? Sure. So um, we developed the, the entire platform together with the Swedish uh, ship owners. Uh, the company is owned by the, the Swedish Ship Owners Association. So we have always worked hard on you know, quality, security, safety, uh, together with the ship owners. But they also had issues getting their crew trained. So we have also applied la layers of you know, trying to trying to uh, cope with the, with the issues that they face in terms of bad uh, internet connection and people you know, working all around the globe and so forth. Great. And that's the thing. So although the uh, Seably was started with more merchant shipping in mind, uh, whereas the day-to-day -day tasks are very different on a super yacht, especially on the hospitality side, ultimately the challenges, like you mentioned, the bandwidth, and the lack of availability to travel to do courses in person are the same for any seafarer. So Seably is a new company. It was established just over a year ago, but they already have tens of thousands of seafarers actively using the platform and over 740 courses, which I think is already closer to 100. Like the number of courses is going up every day. Within that number, we have approaching 100 courses for the super yacht side of things already as well. And we launched um, beginning of October with 30 courses. So this has gone up significantly in the last couple of months. So we're currently working with over 40 training companies and experts. Some of our 
partners uh, for content on the platform are traditional training schools. Other partners are technical experts or service experts. Uh, so we have people from all different specialisms working with us. So the offer, the idea is to offer a really turnkey solution. So it has a very wide range of courses. And obviously, because it's a marketplace, there's a, a variety of courses and no exclusivities. Um, so there is also at the moment, Seably is very much a computer based learning platform. However, Thomas will tell you a little bit later about how we will be offering more of a blended learning solution very shortly, very soon. It is that Q1 that we keep speaking of, Thomas. Um, and the opportunity to, to do your training remotely, online or offline. And this, again, is something that Thomas will be able to show you a bit more about. So ACRU partnered with Seably. It felt very logical and um, symbiotic for our companies to get together on this project. ACRU's positioned itself as the leaders in skill development for the super yacht sector. And what we've been doing in person through events, obviously everyone understands that that became more challenging over the last couple of years. Plus, we had always wanted to be able to take learning online more. And what Seably have been able to do is put the level of investment required for that really smooth, professional user experience and consistently adding new technology and adapting to the feedback and the growth of the users. That's something that's really challenging to do for a small market, financially speaking, to, you know, there's not much hope of a return when we're in an industry with maybe only 70,000 crew members in total. But we're able to piggyback onto Seably, who are developing this solution for merchant, you know, for cruise ships and tugboats and all of these different types of vessels. And we're able to benefit from that. So as a crew, we have been responsible for introducing Seably to the super yacht market. So we've been talking with captains and crew and management companies and also to people like yourselves on the call today, the people that we believe are the leaders in expertise and content for the super yacht industry to invite you to be part of this exciting experience. So as I've already mentioned, there's all kinds of training. So here we mentioned that we've got that hospitality side of training. We have SCCW regulatory courses on there, security, navigation, engineering, et cetera, et cetera. And we're very proud to be working with a good number of companies already. This is just a small selection of the companies that we're already working with. Um, I can see actually a few in the, in the comments. Some of our partners are actually here in the call, which is fantastic. And the courses we have range from short micro courses that may be as short as 10 minutes to complete to more lengthy courses. We have a, a partner, CSS Platinum, who have developed a maritime cyber license, which is four longer modules and everything in between. So I'm going to hand over to Thomas now, who's going to show you the exciting bit how the platform actually looks. I just wanna run through with you because everyone's busy, I know that. We're keeping this demo to a maximum of 45 minutes from two till 2.45 UK time, forgive me wherever you are. Um, so now we're just going to quickly look at what does Seably look like? If you're a crew member, You know, how does that look and feel for you? We're going to look at some of the features that we just want to highlight to you, including the use of facial recognition software, which enables us to work with flag states for more regulatory courses, the e-certificates that are issued, the ability to uh, download training and do it offline. Then specifically for you as a content provider, we'll be looking at how can you build courses easily, quickly and professionally on the site and what support can Seably offer you in doing that. Then we're going to take a look, importantly, at the financial model. What will it cost you? Nothing. And what can you make out of it um, and how that works? And then finally, we're just going to tell you a little bit about the different types of training that you can offer today and in the future. So that includes the computer based learning, distance learning and blended learning. So, Thomas, I would like to hand over to you here and um, thank you. Thanks. Um, yeah, we got a busy schedule, so I'll uh, get right to it. Uh, 
So, uh, as we said, uh, Sibli was developed for the Swedish ship owners, uh, but we have managed to uh, extend this, and I'm very happy to join the the uh, super yacht industry because I always uh, I always liked it. I also have been part of it, so it's it's really nice to to be back. Uh, but um, basically, um, when we built this, we we looked at what what was out there. And we didn't want to do a replica of, of um, already existing training platforms. So instead, we built uh, for not, instead of building another yet another training platform for the Swedish ship owners, we thought that we, as a Swedish company, were really good at tech. So <clears throat> instead of us producing uh, courses for for the Swedish ship owners, we wanted to build the platform and keep, be focused on that. And then we invite the industry specialists to do um, uh, the content because that's what you're good at and we are good at building a great platform. So basically what we have done is that we have built a, a Netflix for the individual seafarer. You, uh, you can come to our platform and, and dig into what's offered on the marketplace. Uh, when you find what you want, you can get a nice overview of, of that course. Um, <clears throat> you can see the cost of it. You can see how long it is and if it's based on a, on a model course or if it's STC uh, W training or so forth. We also offer the course author uh, uh, a marketplace within the marketplace where you can launch uh, your new courses. Uh, we also wanted to enhance the learning environment for the uh, for the students, the seafarers and and yachts. Uh, most very often they are are, are forced into training because they need it because of their job. So it's not they do training out of that they are passionate about it. So we were really devoted in to make it try to make it as as smooth and accessible and, and nice as possible. And on top of that, we also we're really focused on producing high quality uh, courses together with our, our uh, course providers. So when you enter a course, uh, we have worked a lot with the uh, learning environment, the reading environment. So it should be nice to be within a course. <clears throat> so it's more of a reading a book than uh, going through a PowerPoint presentation. So we present full screen video uh, and we also uh, provide the users with feedback. So if you, if you answer uh, correctly, you should have feedback uh, and know why you're right. And also if I don't know what Frederick is wearing here, um, then I also should know why it's wrong and where to find the correct answer. So we try to make it uh, Really smooth, a really smooth ride for the seafarer or the crew. Uh, and when you're done with your course, you get to rate the rate the course, and that is also something that um, plays a role on the marketplace because better rated courses comes higher up in the hierarchy. And when you're done, you instantly get your certificates, and all your certificates are stored within your home on the platform. Uh, are you connected to an employer, and they have an HR software, we have an open API so we can connect that and the certificate goes to the right folder in the right uh, crew, in the right crew folder. Um, doing training on the platform, uh, we, we talked about connectivity. So, um, how to say, uh, we, a lot of our competition is, is solving this issue with hardware and we wanted to go with a software solution instead. So um, firstly, uh, when you go to your, uh, this is what you will face when you enter Seedly. These are the courses that you have previously done. These are the courses that your uh, uh, employer wants you to do. And, but since it's a marketplace, you can also bookmark the courses that you are actually interested in uh, as well. But what I wanted to show you was that, sorry, um, to cope with with bad internet and, and you know flying to different parts of the world, 
we wanted to uh, put this training also into uh, mobile apps so you can have it in your pocket. And we spend a lot of time and money on this um, on these apps. Uh, and we think that the outcome is, is really good. And after a year, we are very happy with the response from the market. So basically you, you log in to, to this device and it's pretty much what you face on the, on the web. But um, the features with these apps are, uh, the app itself is really optimized to be working with poor or dodgy internet. And if you know that you won't be having any internet, you can actually download your courses uh, offline. So the courses are stored uh, locally on the device and, and you can then do a lot of training without even uh, having internet on board. Uh, we also, uh, the platform is approved by uh, different flag states or maritime authorities. And one reason for being that is that we, when you do training, for example, if you do an STCW training, we have um, connected facial recognition to the app and this works on the web as well. Uh, and when you do training, we actually take uh, photos of, of the student during the quiz. So we, you can see here that you are being monitored and uh, when you're done um, with, a, uh, with a quiz, we will or the course actually, we will send you to another place where uh, you can upload your ID. Uh, and in, in, it differs between the different countries. So in Sweden, you can upload a passport, driving license or a Siemens book. So we go with a, a Swedish driving license uh, and we take a photo within the app. It's really easy to just snap a, snap a, a photo of, of your ID. And finally we go we, and, and do a, a selfie. So this gives us um, enough uh, imagery to, to be able to define that the correct person has done the course. We also have images of the person doing the course uh, so we can verify that they did it on their own. Uh, and this is, uh, this is now uh, approved by uh, a couple of maritime uh, authorities and we're working our way through the, the, the different uh, authorities. Uh, Abby or uh, Anna, you should just let me know if there's any questions around this. Well, I think you, I think you're doing great. So I'm, I've got no reason to interrupt you. I've got no questions in the chat yet. So that means that the audience is probably on the just sitting on the edge of their chairs and just hanging at your lips, Tom. So keep going. Okay. Okay. So I'll head back to the to the web app. And uh, as a course pro uh, content provider, uh, you will get some administrative tools. I can just first uh, show you what what it looks like for the shipping company, and they can easily administrate their their crew in if they're. They have several boats. Uh, they can divide and, and search for different vessels and so forth. Yeah. So under the menu of employees, you can invite and disconnect your uh, crew. You can also get specific details of your crew, uh, how they're doing with the assigned courses and so forth. And you can extract certificates if you're missing something. You can also send a uh, specific uh, you know, personal message if someone is falling behind and there's soon aboard, uh, about to board the ship. So, and then need to finalize the training. We also have possibilities to create personal libraries. Uh, and this is uh, really good when you have a crew of, of from, from 25 to 50 to, to 3000, uh, or you, uh, customers is using this. So based on rank, um, uh, rank, nationality, what type of vessel they're working on, they can get personalized libraries. Uh, and you can also put deadlines and stuff like that on that. And it's uh, really appreciated. But the main feature I wanna show you guys today is our course builder. We, um, we wanted to build uh, something that was easy to use and uh, an intuitive course builder that people shouldn't be afraid of uh, to use. So if you build a course, 
then you should be very confident in going back in the course and make some changes and stuff like that. So basically, when you build a course, you start off with a blank canvas and we uh, give you all the tools to build the course straight into the browser. Uh, you start off with a title, you drag in a thumbnail, uh, and uh, when you're done, it's really, it starts to look like a course. So what you do, what you do then is you create your structure of the course. So if you remember, we had lessons and each lesson is divided into steps. So I create my first lesson, I name it, and then I create it. And then I start with the structure of that lesson. So I can choose uh, from different uh, types of steps and I'll go with the text step and name that and create it. Uh, I prepared some more steps. So now I have a text step, a video step, another text step, and finally a quiz. So what I actually have here is the first lesson and I can choose to create my second lesson or I can start building uh, my course. So I go into the first step, I get my title, and then each step is, is built upon uh, with blocks. So here I can just copy paste from my Word document from a PDF for your already existing training material. Uh, we give you tools to, uh, to easily uh, format the text. And um, uh, when you're done with your text, you can just add a new, new block. So if I wanna highlight something, I can go with a quote. And as you can see, I can duplicate, delete, and I can move them back and up, up and down in, the, in, this, uh, in this step. I'll go with a, uh, image here instead, I think, like that. And here we built in a small Photoshop, so you can actually crop and enhance your images to suit, uh, suit your suit your training. Uh, you also have tools to see what you know to preview your training, so you can see what it looks like in different uh, different devices. And if you're uncertain on if you are correct, you can. Uh, send a link to someone uh, and you can share and you can collaborate uh, building the course. Uh, Thomas, I've got a question, if I may. I've got a question I have myself and John is asking a question. Um, so first, uh, my question is, uh, it looks very exciting, it looks easy, but do you also have like support if I am not as capable of doing it myself? And I guess, I guess you have in-house people who can help build the courses, right? Correct. So we have a really competent team of, uh, of uh, former uh, naval people, I would say. But we have uh, Jessica, who is great. She's super efficient. She's been a second officer on a 100 yeah. meter plus uh, super yacht. So they really know what they're talking about. We have Ash, who has several years on the uh, on a UK Maritime Academy. So and we have a lot of content staff uh, on board that can help out uh, building training. Fantastic. And then John asked a very fair question. Uh, these futures that you just showed, are they also available on the mobile ver version? Or though, can I build courses on the mobile version? We are trying to stay away from that uh, right now. I mean, you can uh, in the in the browser of the mobile uh, on a mobile device, but I don't recommend it because uh, uh, it's nice to have this uh, view. Uh, I, I've done it on an iPad, which uh, mm -hmm. makes sense and it worked fine. Uh, but uh, to enable or to to enjoy all the features, I would recommend to do it on a computer. Okay. Well, thank you, Thomas. Back to you. So uh, I'm going back here. Also building quizzes is really easy. Uh, you start off with the same again, uh, blank canvas and you upload a photo. Here's Frederick that we saw uh, earlier. Uh, you add the question, you add some uh, alternatives. Uh, you can choose from, uh, you can give the user feedback as I also mentioned. And then you have different settings on your quiz. You can create question banks. So if you fail, you get a new set of questions and stuff. So basically it's, it's, uh, it's really easy to, to, to build in, in, this, in this builder. Uh, and we are using it ourselves. Uh, we are um, content providers are using it and also our customers. 
because there are a lot of internal training being built uh, on the platform. So we have onboarding courses, we have uh, code of ethics and, and stuff like that, that might be individual for each and every uh, shipping company or yachting uh, ship. Uh, when you're done with your course, uh, <clears throat> you can choose how you want to publish this. Uh, public listed on the marketplace, uh, if you do that and also set a price, you are eligible for the royalty pool payouts. We're going to talk about them later. Uh, but you can also, as actually we have uh, many of our content providers also become our customers because they like the platform and they use it to cater for their for their own students. So not only they build courses on the platform and earn money from that, but they also uh, use the platform as their own LMS and, and um, have their students to do training. Uh, and in, in that case, maybe you have courses that you don't want to uh, share with the, with the entire industry. You can do, uh, you can do them uh, private. But uh, if some of you uh, would jump on this ship, and I hope you do, uh, most of the courses, I guess, would be uh, public listed on the marketplace and with a price. So when you submit for review, our team, uh, our content team takes over and they will vet the course, make sure that uh, it's up to standards, it works on all devices and so forth. So it takes a couple of days and then after that, it's out on the marketplace. So that's basically how you build courses uh, within Seedly. Uh, and as Abby said before, it's free. Uh, we don't take any cost for hosting your courses. Um, what we, I mean, we are aiming to uh, broaden uh, the, the amount of courses available to the industry and to make the industry uh, safer. So um, that is that. And as a, uh, right now, we're uh, releasing reports, which will be uh, making you, uh, we, we try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, you know, we're from Sweden. We want to do things right. So uh, we put we, you as a uh, as a training provider. You will be able to get reports on how your um, courses are doing on the marketplace. So we will display this, uh, and you can also see uh, your expected earnings. Um, should we? Because my ne my next. Uh, my next frame is uh, about what's coming. Should we do something? Yeah. About Shall I answer about the money side of things? That's obviously important for everyone oh, I think here. We all wanna know. I, I, we all want to know about the money side. And I've just learned that uh, uh, Swedish is like, means honest. Uh, Thomas has done it a few times. Is that like, is that one of the traits of the Swedish that they are considered to be like uh, a very honest uh, country and people? Oh, True to your word. True to your word. It's like IKEA. I, w I would say so. I mean, we are. Uh, I shouldn't be standing here. Around. I mean, I'm from Sweden, so I. I yeah, of course. Yeah, I yeah. shouldn't be, be, be talking. But uh, yeah, I mean, and we come from where we come from, the Swedish Ship Owners Association. There, we have the quality and the standards, and they really, uh, it's really important for them, uh, and. We really like to do a great job in terms of doing a well-functioning platform. And if people are contributing to that, it's important to us to, you know, no one would be contributing if they don't get paid. So, so I think it's a win-win situation here. Mm -hmm. And that's where my Dutch side comes in. So yeah. I, want to, I want to know how we're being paid because that's so important. Do we need to have the screen sharing on for that, Thomas? Or can is that like, because then otherwise Abby will be yeah. nice. Now we've got a nice big on screen and I'm, I'm going to do it even better. I'm going to maximize. Oh, no, there like we go. Hi. <laughs> so tell there us, Abby, go. how are we making money on this? Well, yeah, I mean, as you said, that's you know really important. Everyone in this call, something that everybody in this call has in common is they're all representing business you know for-profit businesses that have staff to pay and um, targets to reach so there's a couple of things that I'd like to mention here number one there's no upfront cost there's no hosting cost or anything like that so obviously when a company chooses to put content on 
onto the Seably platform that will have a, a, a cost in terms of your time and your effort. Um, and some companies may want to produce videos or that side of things, but there won't be any invoices from Seably, um, should we say, on that side. And actually, when you are thinking about putting content onto the platform, and I can tell you this from personal experience, having worked with a number of companies and actually um, a few people that are actually at this webinar today um, who would be able to verify this independently, um, the Seably team will really hold your hand through the whole process to the point where we've had people who don't have the capacity um, to be able to build their own courses and have shared white papers or articles with us and we've actually been able to transform that into a micro course. Um, and when I say we, I mean, from well, Jessica that you mentioned, she's the primary content developer from the Seably side. And, um, and there's also a growing number of video support, video editing support, I believe, Thomas, um, even animation support. Am I right in saying this? Yeah, we have different uh, different resources uh, working with us. So yeah. And I think, and as Thomas alluded to before, I think what's really key is that Seably recognizes that the platform is really, you know, the technology is wonderful. I'm sure that, you know, I hope you've seen that for yourself by watching the demo. Um, you know, well done by Thomas for, for sharing all of that very succinctly, may I say, Thomas. Um, but the, even though the technology is fantastic, it's only as good as the content that's on there, ultimately. You know, the seafarers and the businesses behind the seafarers, the yacht owners, the management companies, they're interested in their crew accessing all of these courses. So Seably understand that. So Seably will support you in building the courses. You won't have any upfront co or hosting costs in doing that. And then in terms of the revenue you can expect, I would describe it as follows. There's a more traditional form of revenue, which is where you can consider Seably to be like any learning management system out there. You have your course online, somebody approaches you and your marketing and wants to do that course. They can download the Seably app and access Seably for free and purchase the course. If you go down that route, just like with the, um, the Apple store or any other online store that you're familiar with, there will be a commission, a, you know, percentage to Seably, but the vast majority will go to yourself. And that is all pre-agreed between you and Seably in a, in a very clear agreement. Um, and that's what I would consider the more traditional way. However, what I personally think is really exciting about the Seably model is what they call Seably for business. So the way that Seably and Acre are working together is that we're pushing this out to thousands of seafarers through the management companies, through the family offices, um, through the owners' representatives and the captains, and they are purchasing licenses on behalf of their crew. So it gives you the opportunity to actually reach a new and greater audience and have Seably with a crew in this instance doing your promotion for you, recommending you, pushing you out there. You know, through the ACRU network, every month now we have a, a full newsletter just on Seably uh, going out to our, you know, our membership base of over 15,000 captains and crew with new content. You know, we could feature your course in the next newsletter. So that's a really nice opportunity. And again, you're not charged anything for doing that. You have a lot of support in building your content. And the earning model, if... Um, if you can imagine, it's like a pie. Um, so, you know, Seably gets in the amount it gets in for all of the license fees and license fees are priced at 15 euros per crew member per month. And that money, the majority of the money in the pot goes back to the content providers. So you will be paid on an algorithm because it will depend on the number of courses completed that you that have been done. Um, of your courses and then the price that you have agreed with Seably. So when you publish a course, if it's a micro course, you know, we might say that it's $19.99. If it's a full course, it might be $99. But you'll pre-agree that with Seably and that number is part of the weighting in the algorithm. Uh, Seably have invested a lot of time and money in building this very complex algorithm which I want to say is running like 30,000 algorithms or something crazy, Thomas. Um, yeah, I don't 
really fully understand what that means. But what I know is that the end result is you can expect a very competitive payout. And the bigger the pot, you know, as Seably grows and the more license fees that there are in the super yacht industry, um, the more there is to share. So it's super exciting. It's an opportunity for you to list and sell your own courses. And it's an opportunity for you to reach a new market. Um, we consider it a win-win. What's really important for Seably is that they're working with the best content providers out there. And I think, yeah, I don't know if anyone's got any questions about that revenue model or, or how it works. Yeah, I'm interested to see that as well, if there are any questions about it. So I just want to summarize and see if I understood it correctly. So basically, either I sell my course at my at my rate, because obviously my course is going to be, um, goes first to the content provider sensibly, it's vetted, and when it's approved, also the, the rate is approved. And then then I, if, if someone buys my course who doesn't have a license, I get, how much do I get of that? Sorry, I was muted. Uh, so it's it's it, you go with the basic Apple model. Uh, yeah. It takes thirty percent, and the uh, content provider gets uh, seventy. Yeah, and then obviously there's this probably some credit card costs or something. How 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 are those that are equally divided between the two? Yeah, it, it actually depends on what kind of device you are uh, using. So if you, if if it's an in-app purchase on a mobile device, Google and Apple Apple take more than a regular credit card. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh, but after those sales costs, it's the seventy thirty. Uh, Good, and then, and that's going to be happen mainly, I guess, the licenses. Right, there's a group of people that have a license, they have unlimited use of the platform, and that could be super yacht, but it's also for the whole maritime sector because I can imagine that some of the providers here will have courses that are only not only applicable to super yachting, but would also be applicable to other parts of the maritime industry. Correct. Correct. I mean, the, the, the opportunity or the possibilities here could be grand. Huge. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, we are talking about uh, 1.6 million seafarers out there uh, compared to the 70,000 uh, crews of the, of the PPR industry. Yeah, because that's like obviously like the more people you get to uh, get it, to pay for, for Seably, the bigger the pot will be that like is divided. And again, the pot is divided. If I understand it correctly, is the number of completed courses, therefore certificates, versus the price that you've put to it, and that has been approved by the CB content team, correct? Correct. I would I, I would I just add I would just add that some of the partners we're working with are not training schools. No. What they're interested in doing is leveraging uh, the reach that Seably has. So may maybe it's um, teak decking maintenance or uh, wine tasting or something else that's not, re and they say, actually, you know, this course, I don't want any money. I'm doing it because I want it out there. And the win-win there is, as Thomas showed before, you have the reporting so you can see how your course is getting on. But the advice that Seably has given me for these companies is that we should always assign, you've got to fly. I've got to fly. <laughs> we should always assign a price to the course, even if you want to make it 4 99 or something, because maybe, maybe just over the year, the revenue you make from that gives you enough that you go, you know what, I'm going to invest in a video camera and make better courses next year. You know, Seably want you to benefit from it because they'd also like you to put you know, new and continuous content on. So you, you potentially could become an influencer. Uh, you guys, for people that don't know me, I love my influencers and I am like all of So you could become an influencer. So you can get at this course that can go viral. Because probably, yeah. is it so like the more people use my course, the higher I get into the ranking as well, Thomas? Is that, does it work a little bit that way? Yeah, I mean, in popularity, that's also one one parameter. So, yes. That's a parameter for the algorithm. So, so if I would build this amazing course, like, I don't know, well, I don't know what I'm good at, but I'll just, I'll figure, some, I'll, I'll figure something out and I'll put it out there or a series of courses, then my company or me as a person could have a series of courses and could become sort of an influencer on the industry, right? Yeah, basically, and there are, I mean, on the marketplace, there are a lot of al algorithms running in the background. So if I, as a captain, uh, do a course uh, that maybe is a little bit out of my area, yeah. the other captains will also be recommended because this course was made by someone 
with the same position as you. So the it, it's basically like Netflix. When you end your favorite show, uh, you will get recommendations on other courses that people yeah. like you enjoy. Or, or yeah. and I've got a question, and but we first have to finish my my pill. It doesn't matter if it's mandatory, non-mandatory courses, regulatory, non-regulatory. Any type of courses are welcome on the platform, correct? As long as they're of value, as long as crew can learn from them. Yeah, but it could be like you could like they could be very much there, of course. Um, I, I knew this question was coming, so I was waiting for it to come in. People always want to know, like, okay, but how big is that pot? Ergo, how many subscribers do you currently have, and what is the? And I want to know what is it now, but also what do you figure it's going to be in two, three, four, five years? Because I think that's like so. So, what's the number? Well, we we've been uh, uh, <clears throat> when we started off twenty twenty. One, we had uh, 10, 10, 11,000 users. And that was, you know, we released the platform in September. And mm -hmm. of course, since we're owned by the Swedish Ship Owners Association, we had, we had some good connections there. But during the year, um, we end the year with roughly 20,000 users. And we have already signed another 18 before closing 2021. We are onboarding them right now. So we're definitely looking at 50 to 60 and maybe more during 2022. Yeah. And, and, and for the, the super yacht happen? side of things, um, we anticipate that we'll be over 4,000 super yacht seafarers by the end of 2022. Mm. Cool. Okay. And that's like, because I, I, about the seafarers, I know. Yeah, we actually have... promised to 4,000 uh, yeah, super yacht. Oh, yes, promise. in blood. <laughs> yeah, and so but like uh so okay so it's four thousand super users by the end of the year of a total of six sixty thousand total users by the end of the that's the idea yeah. and then so that like if you said like did you say 1.6 million seafarers in the world uh, thomas is that what you said so we're looking at like a eight percent market penetration by the end of the year is that like for, for, yeah. for, the, for the number of people amongst us I mean, we are we are not uh, going. I mean, there are uh, bigger fishes out there, uh, yeah. and but we we wanted to do we wanted to offer a really good platform uh, for the for the working crew, and uh, so we're not. I usually I used to say that we are going for world domination and and conquering the world, but but we just wanted to. Of course, we want to make money as well. Of course, we want to onboard a lot of new users, uh, and I think we will because we have a really good product. Um, but uh, I say sixty thousand users by the end of this year is not uh, reaching for the stars. It's it's definitely doable. Fantastic. Okay, good. I think that was what we wanted to cover. Any questions? So please feel free in the chat. And for everybody, um, we're recording this session. So I guess Abby will be uh, sharing it with everybody afterwards. Uh, are we, uh, and any other information that is uh, that is available or required. Um, if we don't have any questions, I'm going to say thank you to everybody. But I'll give people a few seconds to start typing because obviously typing takes longer than chatting, talking. So let's see if any questions come in. Um, and in the meantime, uh, I don't have any more questions. I think I've asked all my, did I ask all my questions? So they're looking at it from a content provider. So yeah, so you basically built your own environment, which we call, let's say, Acre. So you've got your Acre environment. You've got all your courses in there. They're, uh, they're promoted. You can promote them yourself. You could even do it for your internal. So you could build a whole course set for people that like, say, new people in your company or people that you want to, to, to be able to progress. That's all possible, right, Thomas? It's all Free yeah. of charge. We, uh, you get your you get your own uh, little store. But but actually, I know that we are pushing forty five minutes, but uh, we didn't show what's coming up. Oh, we... yeah. Oh, you actually right. You have Let's a minute. Let's look at like Do what's it. what's. You have one minute to say what the future looks like. <clears throat> so uh, what we're building right now is something that we call bookings, and bookings is your own uh, store uh, on Seedly. Uh, we don't take any anything from your business. We take some sort of transactional fee uh, to um, uh, for your courses if they are booked uh, with us. 
but basically, what we we're we're in beta test with the one of Sweden's uh, largest training centers, like right now, a uh, Kira Maritime Center, and they are just loving it because they instead of sending having people five days at the training center, they can have them there for two, two and a half, and all the theoretical parts are done before coming to the site. And as you of course understand, the ship owners and the the boat owners love this uh, way of training as well. And so basically it can be, it, it's like a hybrid learning or blended learning where you do some of the parts in front of the computer. Uh, you can also uh, put like a digital personal call uh, before they come to the actual uh, location. Uh, so we're like, you can have your own store with Seedly uh, where you can sell your physical training uh, or your blended learning. Uh, and uh, as uh, what, what this training center actually says is that when they have the uh, people coming to the location, they are more well prepared. They can squeeze in more practical elements if, uh, within those days that they actually stay there. So okay. this is something we build right now. Thank you. Okay, um, I've got questions. Uh, okay, have you already answered one? Um, yes, you can see a, a number of courses. The, the ones without subscription, um, but most of the courses are within description, but every has got a list available of the courses that are already there. So you can have a look if there's anything you want to add to it. Again, I believe there's, I heard everything in the beginning, there's no um, exclusivity rights. So the, the, there's everybody, there could be a variety of similar courses there. And Santiago is asking, is a minimum number of content to be part of CB? I know that answer, the answer is no. Even with one course, you can enter. There's no minimum requirement. It's whatever you want to. Um, I play with it because, like, obviously, with an acre, we do a lot of like learning. What I see a lot of money with that. Oh, no. I've seen I mean, I'm, I'm going to make a. Sh I, I've got so many good course ideas. So I'm, I'm going to work. I'm just, I'm just dividing if, if it's going to be acre or Evans. Yeah. I'm not sure yet. Let's become the influence. I'm kidding. It's always going to be acre. Um, did you answer uh, Jean-Pierre? Yeah, we answered Jean-Pierre and Santiago answered there's no minimum content. What you, what I would look at is instead of building long courses to see if you can cut them up in shorter courses, I, I played with it a bit. We always know, especially to be a good span of attention, it's not always that long. So it depends a little bit on the type of course you're offering. But you could look at mini courses, right? Because you have micro courses. There's a, there's a variety there as well, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So Basically, it, the, the length of the course uh, doesn't really matter. We, we just need a, a quiz in the end so we can actually call it a course and not just information. Yeah. Is, is there a reason you call it a quiz? Because Is that because you, there's not necessarily certification to it? It's more like a, a fun testing? Or can I have, or do I kind of do actually a proper exam, if I may say so, with the questions well, where you have to pass? I mean, we, we, we have, we have a, a super long uh, roadmap on, on new features and upcoming features, like some really big like booking, uh, but also, you know, extending the number of uh, different types of quizzes or assessments. So maybe free text answering answers, like where you can actually type a long yeah. answer uh, will be there. But then that also includes that when the content provider also needs to be able to receive that uh, and so forth. Okay. So, okay. so a lot of stuff is coming up. I mean. Yeah, so I'd just like to say as we end up, so I will follow up. It will probably be Monday when we get the um, the link to share yeah. with everyone. Um, and at the same time on Monday, I'll also share an overview of the courses that we have on the platform at the moment. Um, I'll follow up with everyone. If you're interested, if you're just interested in joining Seedly for the first time, we can put you in touch with the content development team. We can have a phone call with you to discuss first content. You don't need to be a training company. It can be just based on an idea and we'll brainstorm it with you. So get in touch. And, um, and for those of you that are already um, further down the line of adding content or looking to add content, I'd really encourage you to continue with that because we, yeah, there's a lot happening on the Seably front at the moment, and we'd really welcome you to be a part of it. Can I just add that we uh, we are the only one right now having online support? So if if the crew needs help, we take care of them. So which is really nice, both for content providers, but uh, and also but also the, the ship owners. 
And so we take care of them, help them with passwords and how to enroll in different types of training. Good. Well, we didn't pick, of course, I'm, I'm, we didn't pick Sibley for no reason. And Sibley didn't pick us for no reason. We strongly believe in it. I think, Thomas, thank you so much. I think you did a great demo today. So uh, I think it was very clear. And uh, I hope Abby and I added a little bit to the story. Uh, as Abby more than I did, but as we said, she's the brains. I was only the beauty at the sides. And the weather tomorrow. No, and... Um, Thank you all for being here. Um, I wish everybody a fantastic day and uh, a, a great weekend. And um, as I said, we'll be touched on Monday. And thank you. Thank you again. Bye bye. And see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye, everyone. Thank yeah. you. Bye.